three-time Pro Bowl guard Kyle Long, who is coming out of retirement, is scheduled to visit Monday with the Las Vegas Raiders, per source. Long is scheduled to visit Casey next. Long's father, Howie, had a Hall of Fame career with the Raiders, and another Long now in play for the franchise. If you guys haven't heard the news, Kyle Long is coming out of retirement. Uh, he was a top-tier guard while he was playing. Uh, he had retired after the 2019 season. Didn't play in 2020, but wants to come back and play football, and he should. The guy is 31 years old today, and he'll be 32 when the season starts, but he can still be a top-tier guard. And I think this is a great move uh, because Kyle Long played right guard for his, pretty much his whole entire career. I think he played right tackle one year, uh, but he pretty much played right guard for his whole entire career. And as you guys know, the Raiders just got rid of Gabe Jackson which means we're in the market for a right guard. Now, of course, if the Raiders do end up signing Kyle Long, it'll be interesting to see what they kind of do with Denzel Good, how they played the situation with him, as well as John Simpson. A lot of people think John Simpson's going to end up starting this year. Uh, a lot of people want to see Denzel Good come back to the Raiders as well. Uh, and maybe uh, Good can play right tackle for the Raiders. Now, I don't think Good's as good as as a tackle as he is a guard uh, of course guards much easier than tackle uh, but nonetheless Kyle Long is visiting the Raiders today and I'm very excited to kind of see how this all ends up you know uh, Long's been to uh, three Pro Bowls he's been an all pro guard overall you know there's a lot of people who really love him who think he is nasty and he's physical and he's tough and he brings a meanness and that's the Raiders are known for, man. That's one of the reasons why we went out and got Richie Incognito, right, is to, to come in and, and be that physical guy and help mold Colton a little bit. Uh, and, and he did, right? Colton Miller's gotten so much better. And, you know, if you want to continue teaching the younger guys that are coming in, you need players that are nasty and physical, and Kyle Long fits that category. Now, uh, Silver and Black Pride did a poll, and uh, they basically asked, would you like to see the Raiders sign Kyle Long? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and we'll look at the results. Uh, before we look at them, I'm pretty comp I'm pretty positive that the overwhelming majority of this is going to be yes. So I'm going to go ahead and say like 90% um, and 91%. So uh, And only 480 people have voted so far. But either way, uh, I think this could be a great fit for the Raiders. You know, he probably wouldn't cost that much money because he is coming back out of retirement. Uh, and that typically means that we can get him for... Um, you know, maybe anywhere from three and a half to five million dollars a year. Uh, just depends on kind of what he wants. You know, he is going to visit with KC if it doesn't work out with the Raiders. Um, and I would not want him to go visit with the Kansas City Chiefs because I would rather have him on our team. Right? I would rather not play him two times a year. Um, speaking about, uh, you know, on the offensive line topic, um, the Raiders have spoken to Sam Young about a potential contract. And this is kind of scary if you think about it, right? Like, um, you know, we were fortunate to watch Sam Young last year. And, you know, he's a good player when he plays. But, like, he is smaller. He is skinnier. He isn't the biggest offense tackle. I don't know exactly what he weighs. I'm going to say he weighs somewhere around 280 to 290 pounds. Um, he's very, very, very skinny, in my opinion. And a lot of the time when he was in there, he was getting pushed back and he was getting... Uh, thrown around in my opinion and I don't know if that's who I would want as the starting right tackle because every time he was in there it seemed like he was getting hurt right um now obviously the contract the contract talks could also be maybe they want to just bring him back to be a backup uh, but either way I, I don't think we should even bring him back for that right every time he came in last year he got hurt right at least three games last year he was starting and he ended up getting hurt so what's the point of having a player that you can't rely on what is the point of bringing back a guy that he's going to just get hurt and you cannot rely on this player? Um, you know, at the end of the day, the Raiders need to go out and they need to draft a right tackle. Like, there's nothing else to it. Like, either in the first or second round, there's a lot of good players out there. A lot of good players. Um, and honestly, the Raiders missed on Orlando Brown Jr. And, you know, I will always hold that against John Gruden for taking Brandon Parker instead of Orlando Brown Jr., that too, we traded up to get Brandon Parker. Um, you know, we could have traded up and taken Orlando Brown Jr. And we would not need a, another tackle, right? We would have both Colton and Orlando. 
and we ended up not doing that. And now the Raiders are looking to get their future right tackle. Yeah, and you, when you consider the fact that we invested a pretty high pick in Brandon Parker, and he is not the tackle of the Raiders' future, um, now what? Right now we're about to invest another pick, and hopefully we hit and we get it correct because it's it's going to be important for the Raiders' success. Uh, you can't win a Super Bowl with having bad offense linemen, um, and at the same time, to win the Super Bowl, you can't spend so much money on your offense line that it hinders your defense, right? Um, you guys know that that's kind of what's been happening with the Raiders is we have so much money invested on the offensive line that we don't have money to spend anywhere else, and it's really hindering the Raiders. So um, let's let's see if Sam Young can, can come in for a minimum contract. Maybe he's our backup. Um, I would rather the Raiders just stick with Brandon Parker, man. At least he's been consistent, and when you let him play – you, you know, you get a guy that's willing to play, even if he gives up a sack or two or gets his ass kicked, like he doesn't just get hurt and then come out of the game. At least he sticks it out and he plays. So um, either way, we'll kind of see what happens. But I hope the Raiders speaking to Sam Young about a potential contract is not that they want him to start because I would be very disappointed in John Gruden. Um, and at that point, I would just tell myself like, John Gruden has no idea what he's doing, right? Because we've watched Sam Young, and Sam Young is not the answer. Uh, but one player that could be the answer, Casey Hayward. Let's discuss this. You know, Casey Hayward is, is not the youngest guy, right? He's I think he was with the Chargers for five years. Prior to signing with the Chargers, he was also with the Packers for four years. Um, so he's been in the league for, for a while now. Uh, but the thing is, is he's a productive player, and he's – He's healthy. He plays like he doesn't. He doesn't not play, right? And the thing is, is even last year he was still a good player. Uh, but one of the reasons why the Chargers got rid of him was because they say he wasn't a scheme fit. As you guys know, the Chargers switched defensive coordinators last year. Uh, they had a guy who uh, is now the defensive coordinator of the Las Vegas Raiders, right? That's Gus Bradley. That's our new coach, Gus Bradley. For four seasons, played with Casey Hayward, and Casey Hayward was a baller, one of the top-tier corners in the league. So if the Raiders need a cornerback that fits their system, Casey Hayward is the perfect guy. And I know some of you guys might say, what's the point of signing like an older guy? You know, we don't want these veterans. We want to get younger or whatever. Um, but I disagree, man. We have, you know, if you just look at our corners, you have Arnett, Mullen, Johnson, uh, Keyshawn Nixon, that's four really young guys. And then even our slot uh, with Amik Robertson, that's guys that are all basically have played two years in the league or less. At what point are we going to say, okay, we have enough young guys, like let these guys develop, but let's get some older guys in there. Let's get some guys that are going to teach the younger guys. At what point are we going to stop investing in just young guys? Like, you know, at the end of the day, you can invest all, all the picks you want on the defensive side of the ball or in the cornerbacks, um, but sometimes it pays to have veterans, right? Uh, I remember when the Raiders brought in um, Justin Tuck, for example, and he was a great leader. He was a great locker room guy, um, and those are the type of players that I think the Raiders need to, to bring in, right? You have to have guys that are um, veterans that know what they're doing, especially that, like, Casey Hayward has played in the system. Not only can he come in, like, if Gus Bradley's the Raiders coach for the next four or five years, wouldn't you like a corner that can come in and teach the younger guys today like what to do, how to play in the system, and even then model it out to those guys that this is how it's done? I would love for the Raiders to go all in on Casey Hayward. I think this is a player where it's not even just about the potential of him in the system. It's the fact that the production will be there, right? He's not going to have a, you know, a fall off in production. Like he's, he's I think, 31 years old. Um, and for a cornerback, that means he has one to two years left. So give him a one-year contract. Pay him $8 million if that, that's what it costs, right? But bring a player in that can not only play for the short term, but he can help the younger guys for the short term. Cap is not an issue for the Raiders, right? We have 53 players, I think, on the roster, 54 players. Um, and if you look at the estimated cap, $40 million right now. That's not considering the fact we still have Marcus Mariota. If we really wanted to, we can save another $10 million there. Uh, we have a couple other players. I, I don't think that even considers the fact that we saved another, a, a $10 million 
from the restructure of Corey Littleton and Nick Kwiatkowski, or maybe it does, but either way, we have a lot of cap, right? Like cap is not an issue. Um, you know, the, obviously the Raiders do need to still consider the fact that we do have some guys that we need to bring back, but uh, cap's really not an issue. And if the Raiders can bring in a good player like Casey Hayward, why not? Like, you know, you can bring in a guy who has proven himself, um, even with the player like Kyle Long, right? Like as we kind of discussed, these are proven players. I, I think we need to kind of stay away from continuing to bring in young players and young players and young players. We have young players, right? We have a bunch of good young players that need to just develop in the system. Uh, what we need is we need guys that are going to make an immediate impact. Um, and I think Hayward could be that guy. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to comment below. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me. Smash that subscribe button, man. There's like 60% of you guys that are subscribed that watch this video, which means there's another 40% of you guys that aren't even subscribed. Subscribe, man. We, we, we have all Raiders videos on this channel. Um, I hope you guys all have a great day, man. Free agency has officially started or it will start in about three hours here. Um, a lot of good things coming, man. See you guys next time with another video.